Hello again. Well today I'm going to be starting off my peppers and this year I'm going to try a few tricks which will hopefully result in earlier fruiting and higher yields. When I grow peppers from seed they always produce fruit very late in the season. Compared to the seedlings that I can buy in the nursery around April time, they're always a good few weeks behind. The ones I buy from the nursery, usually in fruit by mid-July. The ones I grow from seed, it's usually late August. So this year, I'm going to start them off about six weeks early, and we're going to see if that is going to help. Now these ones are a Jimmy Nardello type pepper. And by the looks of them, it looks like they should be a hot pepper, but they're not. They are in fact a sweet pepper. I've never grown them before, but last year I saw Krista from Krista's Garden growing them, and I thought I'd give them a bash. Apparently, they're very nice in stir fries. And these ones are mixed colored sweet bell peppers which are left over from last year. Hopefully, the seed is still viable. I'm sowing two seeds per module for good reason. This is one of the tricks that I'm gonna be using. Usually, if you put two seeds per cell and they both germinate, you pinch one back. But I'm not necessarily going to do that because there's a theory about twin pepper planting that I want to put to the test. Now, the theory suggests that if two seeds in one cell germinate, let them grow together. Let them spend their entire life together. The extra leaves will help with things like sun scald, and even though they may not produce twice as many peppers as one plant, in all probability, they will produce more. Now, I love an experiment, and I'm looking forward to this one. Summertime on the west coast of Canada can be very long and very hot, ideal for growing peppers. Last year I noted that the seedlings that I bought from the nursery were a decent size by June when I planted them out. By comparison, the ones that I'd started in mid-February from seed were very small when I planted them out in June, and as a result, Come mid-September, early October, they were just starting to turn colour. And that was a shame because I had to pick them. The autumn winds and rains had set in and they weren't quite as sweet as I wish they had have been. And so, by starting them early this year, hopefully it'll give them a good head start. I'm going to place these into a grow box where they'll get about 14 hours of light per day. Well, I've got the garlic on the go and the broad beans are growing. I've started the onions and now I've started the peppers. So next time, weather permitting, I think we'll do a full update of the year so far. Right now though, I think it's time for a beer. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button or subscribe.